Today is Saturday the 2nd of October 2021. This is a video for Health One users concerning the latest version of Health One, that is 8832836 or higher. There are two major changes uh, in this version. An updated COVID-19 booster vaccination uh, function that will uh, allow the booster and third dose campaign to be uh, recorded. And secondly, uh, Bill Link, which is uh, an addition to our billing module that allows online payments. This video will deal with Bill Link. Bill Link is an online payment system for GP practices. It is now integrated into the normal Health One billing system such that online billing and payments are seamlessly integrated. You have to have version uh, 8.8. 0.32836 or higher for this to work. Uh, you also need the latest version of the normal Health One billing. This was actually uh, introduced in about 2012, but you do need to have that. It allows the practices to invoice patients directly after consult by sending a link to the patient via text message. The patient then clicks on that link and pays the practice directly. So in this video, we're going to look at the registration, which is a once off process for the practice to register with Bill Link. And the second thing we we'll talk about is the using the system day to day. So once you have this version, you can check the version number by going help and about. And here you can see I have 8832837. Then you will have this Bill Link functionality. First thing you'll have to do is click on the tools menu option up there and you will have a new line here called Bill Link and you'll have to now register with Bill Link. This is a once off process for each practice. So you click on this and you will get uh, to the Bill Link portal. First of all, you put in your details here that will be taken by the Bill Link. This is taken from Health One uh, user database. You can change these if you wish. Once you click OK here, you will go directly to the Bill Link website portal. You will have to go through several stages once you're on the Bill Link portal. Uh, your first is your summary, your practice details here, your, your personal details and your bank details. So I'm going to say here I'm a partner in the practice, I know my bank details and I'm going to start now. So now I have to put in my practice business details. So I filled in my practice details here we we'll say it's a sole trade or medical center practice address, practice phone number, practice email, and a practice website. I'll say for the purpose of the test, no here. Now we're going to go to my details by clicking next step. And now I put in my personal details. So now I fact I filled in my personal details. Uh, and now I'm going to go on, click next step for my uh, bank details. It will ask me my account name and my IBAN. I'm putting in a false IBAN here for the purposes of this test. These details are not stored by Bill Link or Health One, so they're very safe. I've read the terms and conditions, and now you click Finish and Submit. You have filled everything in over here. You will get this message here saying Onboarding or Registration is successfully completed. So I can go directly from here to the uh, online Bill Link dashboard. And I'm brought to this Bill Link web page, which tells me my uh, practice details, my account details, my practice image, and I can put my own image in there, my payment summary up to date, and there's various things I can configure on this. The main thing I can configure here is the uh, text message that the patient will get. So this is the text message that is the default one, and I can uh, edit it over here by clicking on uh, these particular fields that I can enter. And I will do that now. So I will just replace this with my own text which has now changed the fee of this for your recent consultation at this date. 
is now due, please make payments to our secure website. And once I save these details, they will be saved on the website for me. I can also, for example, simply drop my practice uh, image into the here and save that as well. So this is the thing that the patient will see when he gets his text message on his phone. Once I have configured the bill link details here on the bill link portal, I can leave the website and I can go back into Health One. This is a, a, a picture of the text message the patient will get on his phone. Now I'm back in Health One, and if you look at Tools and Bill Link again, you will see that there will be more than one option there. In fact, the options will look like this. You'll have the ability now to go to your portal, to various transactions and payments pages on the portal. So if I just click on the portal here, I get back to exactly where I was, so that at any time in the future from Health One, I can directly go to my bill link portal and edit the details. Here I have a patient open, John Test. I'm doing a new transaction. Let's say it's a consultation by telephone and I'm going to click OK. Um, I do my consultation and I give John at the end of the day a bill. With this version of Health One, you have a new option to pay this by bill link by clicking on this button here. You can also get him to pay in the normal way by his credit card or cash and it will all be recorded in the same way as it always was in Health One. Once I click the bill link button down here, Health One will put in an unpaid invoice down here and bring up the patient's mobile phone number here. It will also automatically tick a box here, send bill link invoice to patient. Once I click OK here, Health One will communicate with Bill Link, which will automatically send a text to this mobile phone number. So I'm going to talk about this briefly. You can put it in here if he doesn't already have it. 487, in my case, 2436666. So you must be very careful about this number. It will pick it up automatically from the file, from the item, telephone, mobile. So before I go to click OK here, I'm going to go back and show you that in the administrative page. So if we look here, uh, this patient has no telephone mobile, so you should use for your telephone mobile um, a mobile phone number. It will also take a mobile phone, but preferably telephone mobile, and you should put it in here, uh, 087-243-6666. And you should preferably not put any text into this mobile phone for your patients. If you want to put in text, you should put it in to the comment field here, something like this is Mary's phone number or his father's phone number. But for the purposes of this video, I'm going to put in some text there. So a lot of practices will have something like this in the telephone mobile. It's not correct to do this, but health one will try and deal with it if it is like that. So I'm going to save that transaction. I'm going to bring up a bill again. This time I'm going to say consultation by telephone, uh, 30 euro. I'm going to click on the bill link icon here. And as you can see, it, it fixes the text, but that doesn't mean you should put text in there. You shouldn't. So once I click OK here, the patient is going to get immediately a text uh, to pay the 30 euro. So I click OK. And it'll take a second or two for Health One to tell me. And you have an invoice and down the bottom right successfully sent through Bill Link. And if you listen to my phone, you'll hear uh, within 10 or 15 seconds normally. And that's it, me receiving a phone message uh, for my bill. The doctor or nurse in the meantime continues and doesn't worry about it because all this, uh, the rest of it will happen automatically between the patient and bill link. So this is the type of text message that the patient will get here. Uh, the patient will put in his card number, his email address, agree to the terms and condition and pay the 30 euro. That 30 euro will then be paid 
through BillLink and then paid into the practice account on a weekly basis. At the end of the day now the practice might want to look at its accounts and it goes into the normal billing uh, dashboard here in Health One, which is up in the top, uh, which all practices normally do. And you will see here all of your payments for today. I can go to yesterday and just see what payments we had yesterday as well, for example. And you'll get all the normal payments, credit card, and we have uh, some paid online. So these are the two for today, uh, which were paid online. And you will see that uh, one of them was paid and the other one hasn't been paid yet, which is the one we've just done. We have here a filter purely for the online payments, which will just show us what's going on online. And we can do a manual synchronize here, although it will be synchronized automatically when you open the billing queries. As you can see here, we have one unpaid. And we can, in fact, from this particular filter here, right click on any one of these and we can take the payment over the phone from the from the patient and click on payment link here and we will get a screen exactly the same as John Test got on his mobile and I'll put in my uh, card number here so I put in my visa card and my email and I agree to the terms and conditions and I can get the patient to pay. This is what the patient does on the phone or you can take it uh, uh, over the phone. Transaction completed and this money has now been paid into the uh, bill link account. While I'm still in the online payments filter here or I, uh, I could just synchronize this manually just to bring it up to date. It will be synchronized automatically anyway on a daily basis. You can see that John Test has been paid. So that's been paid there. We can also, um, while the patient file is open or at any time, go directly to the bill link uh, payments dashboard by clicking on analysis and rather than going to our normal billing queries, go to the bill link online payments dashboard directly. So you get this up and you can go into your John test and you can right click and go to the payments link from there. You can also show the um, billing transactions from here by clicking on this uh, link and you can see various other things. So this is, it takes a second to get to it, but you can see the details of the various transactions. In this case, I have clear pregnancy open, but this is the SMS message and these are the payments details and I can give a refund from here, for example, and that would be recorded in Health One. I can also cancel the bills um, if I wish from the bill link dashboard. If I want to see my bill link transactions in general for all my patients, I can go back to my tools, bill link and click on transactions here and this will give me a list of my billing transactions on HealthLink in general, you can see that there are several here. And you see where the SMS status is. I can resend a text message if it's not paid. This is not paid, so I can resend a text message at any time. I can view the details of each patient by just clicking on the button here and I get that picture. So in summary, this video has been about BillLink, an online payment system for GP practices. We discussed the registration, which is a once-off process for each practice, and we described how you would use it each day. The once-off registration is done by clicking on Tools, BillLink and Register. And once that's done, you will go to the BillLink portal and you will input your personal details of your practice and stuff and you can change them as I've described. This menu will also give you your, your transactions, your bill link transactions online and your payments online. But in Health One, you will do your bills as normal by opening the patient file, giving him a bill, clicking on the bill link button and you carry on and do nothing else. The bill link system then contacts the patient and the patient pays bill link.
We should also discuss how much this is costing the practice, and this is very upfront by Bill Link from the start. So there's a charge of 3.25% of the fee charged to the patient. Fees up to 20 euro have a flat charge of 89 cents. There's an SMS fee of 8 cents per SMS. So uh, we've done a little spreadsheet here of the possible uh, costs. So for a 50 euro fee, it'll cost the practice 171. For a 100 euro fee, 333. For a 60 euro fee, it'll cost the practice 203 including the SMS and the uh, charges for the transaction itself. The uh, money is paid from the bill link, uh, which is a Stripe account, into the practice account on a weekly basis, or more often if it's a very busy practice, can be discussed with bill link. And that is the end of uh, this recording for Health One users. Thank you.